going on guys yash here welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is absolutely having a great day i am back in new jersey at my family's house for the weekend what i wanted to bring you guys today is a real live store reveal uh of my one product store for valentine's day so you know as we're getting into 2020 guys i've been focusing a lot on micro branding for my stores um, and especially I begin to capitalize on one product stores this is something I've been starting to do uh, since 2019 okay so I I pay attention to a lot of seasonal trends um, you know now that Q4 is over Black Friday Cyber Monday uh, you know for example Valentine's Day Mother's Day uh, Father's Day right all these seasonal trends are very very important to pick up so what I basically did is I got ahead of the curve in December I launched my Valentine's Day store I initially began using influencers and then I started scaling with Facebook uh, you know during the beginning of January so again what I'm going to be showing you today is an actual example and walkthrough of my Valentine's Day one product store and just really an idea of why it did so well because Again, I focused on micro branding the store. If you guys don't really know what micro branding is, it's basically making your store and your social media, all the components really in your business as professional as possible, as optimized as possible because, you know, the consumer market's getting used to have generic drop shipping stores, guys. So, you know, you guys want to stay away from all that general store crap if you really want to, you know, scale a store and, you know, have something sustainable, you know, whether you want to capitalize on a short term or long term. All of my seasonal one product stores, guys, you know, they may not be the most long term, but I will always go into them, you know, thinking, you know, I'm going to be investing my time, money, and energy long-term. So treating all of them like long-term stores, okay? So again, guys, One Product Stores is basically a dropshipping store, you know, focused around one product, and that brand is basically built around that one product. So, you know, I'm going to be showing you guys the ins and outs, the do's and don'ts, and again, why my store was so successful, okay? So again, I initially began, you know, utilizing Instagram influencers, and then I transitioned on to scaling with Facebook ads came the beginning of January. Now, I got in before, you know, all the other dropshippers and marketers got onto the whole Valentine's Day, uh, you know, product and different products, you know. Um, so I started to get into the store and building it out um, earlier December, okay? Because again, I always think ahead, I'm always familiar with market trends. So again, this is where market logic and market intuition comes. I whole, I made a whole other video about it, a few, uh, actually a few videos ago, if you guys wanna check that out. So, you know, that's what I thought to myself and I knew it would be a great opportunity to capitalize, okay? So I really want you guys to pay attention and use this store as a benchmark, not only for Valentine's Day, um, you know, chances are by the time you're seeing this, it's already almost too late to start selling products for Valentine's Day, but maybe for next year, okay? Because this product that I have, which I'm going to be showing you guys very shortly, is a product that did very well last year. And chances are, guys, I can almost promise you it's going to do well and trend again next Valentine's Day. So comes next year, guys. Put it on your to-do list. Put it on your reminders. Get onto this product or just a Valentine's Day store early on before all the marketers and drop shippers run onto those products and become super saturated, okay? So what I did was I created awareness with Instagram. I utilized influencers, both personal pages and niche pages. And once I had that data, since I was using a fresh pixel and a fresh ad account, I transitioned into Facebook ads, okay? So guys, great example to use as a benchmark for not only Valentine's Day, one product stores, but any one product store in general. I made a video about this before also showcasing my iPhone 11 case, which I made earlier in fall of 2019. But I wanted to really showcase this store because I think this store came out really, really freaking amazing. So guys, let's dive right into it. I really, really appreciate if you guys can leave a thumbs up on this video let the youtube algorithm really reach as many people as possible because i really want to you know showcase what a successful one product drop shipping store looks like and you know again this is a perfect example of a short-term store if you guys want to capitalize on it which is what i do you know i pay attention to market trends and throughout the year you know i will make several one product stores um something like this guys you can later even pick up during mother's day um, so it's always good to have something in your back pocket like this and capitalize on it beforehand. So guys, drop a like and subscribe if you guys haven't and turn on your post notification bells. Let's dive right into it. So if we go here, guys, um, 
the domain of the store, what it was called, uh, was luxrosebear.com, okay? The product I was selling was this rose teddy bear. You guys have probably even seen it on Instagram, or you guys have probably even been targeted with ads. Um, but again, this product did very, very well last year. So to dive right into it, guys, obviously, I have my social media icons here for brand authenticity and social proof. I'm also creating urgency and awareness. I have early bird V-Day special uh, free global sh uh, shipping, right? So again, that creates urgency. Notice I have use of emojis. They kind of go hand in hand. Um, you know, usually I like to have one to three color schemes throughout the store. Um, since it's Valentine's Day, you'll see that as I scroll down on all of the colors are vibrant, they're bright, you know, you want to bring out emotion because something like this is purely or solely an emotional purchase for your loved one, okay? And most male are actually buying this product for their significant other, female or other males, whatever it may be, not to judge. Okay. Um, also, this product has a whole bunch of variations and sizes. I am actually selling the bigger version, which was, I think, 15 centimeters. And again, there's two versions, one that is plain and one with the heart in the middle. So I decided to go with the one with the heart in the middle because I just thought it looked a little bit cooler. So um, anyway, guys, um, you know, in terms of tabs, we have our home, our shop, our about us, which is very important. Having a solid, powerful about us page is very important. You want to talk about your brand. You want to really showcase what you guys are about. Give a reason for people to really purchase from your brand. Don't just talk about like customer service, yada, yada, yada. I see so many basic about us pages that people don't put work into. So notice, you know, Lowe's Rux, or sorry, Lux Rose Bear was founded and created in New York City in 2018, inspired by the romance and grandeur of Hollywood. Our founders set out to create something that would encapsulate the timelessness and elegance of your and what better way to do this than with roses, the universal symbol of endless love. You know, this is a product, guys, that people can really buy for someone else regardless of their age, their gender, their country, their ethnicity, their race, because almost guys love has no language, right? It's almost universal. There's no rules or anything like that. Um, so all in all, I'm not going to read the whole thing. You guys can read it for yourself. I really paid attention and put importance on the About Us page as well and really made it personal, okay? Storytelling is very important and it speaks for itself. It just gives more of an incentive for people to purchase. Over here, I have a happy customer's uh, tab right here, which may not be working right now because uh, oh, it is working. There we go. I thought it was a bug issue. Um, you know, where I've imported all the reviews um, and you see why I was basically driving traffic to the homepage. I treat my homepage like a whole funnel. I really tap into my potential customer shoes. So I, I treat it like it's a whole funnel going down. So again, this is just for social proof, for trust, for confidence. You know, that's what you want to give off to people. The app I was using here is Loops. I will actually dive into my apps backend, um, you know, to see the different apps I was using as well. Over here, I have track order. You know, I didn't keep too many tabs. Keep it simple. Keep it nice. Keep it clean. Um, so again, track order. I think this page is glitching right here. I changed this uh, page to news or something like that, which is not showing right now. Again, this store is currently not active, guys. I stopped uh, selling probably the first week of February. So again, this track order was here, and I was using an aftership app. Um, that's the name of the app. So again, the logo is very succinct, simplistic. Um, just a little rose right here, Lux Rose Bear in text. Uh, very nice, very simple. I will also also be showing you guys, uh, you know, this whole layout in mobile. It looks way better in mobile. I absolutely love it. Um, so like I was saying, you know, obviously this was optimized for both mobile and for desktop users because I was driving traffic to both later on with Facebook ads, hence why it's optimized for desktop as well. Um, so, you know, as soon as someone lands, you know, it's very ideal what my store is selling. They're not thrown off or anything like that, okay? It says encompasses luxury magnificence magnificence and grandeur um, and it says the perfect gift adorn your outer world they see this rose as a background it has another uh, call to action right here which says shop file that does lead uh, to the product page if you click on it so after that when people scroll down again it says a little welcome to Lux Rose Bear to you know kind of give people that information what we're about how we started yada 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 um, I have this Shirt on right here, Hello Glow and Mar uh, Marie Claire, which I believe are online blogs for mostly uh, females. Um, I did get my articles published on both of these. I did pay. Now, it's really up to you. I know so many people 
don't really pay for something like this, uh, but I did just to be safe. So you know, this is a great way to, again, to form that trust, to again, form that confidence, which is what really people are looking for, okay? Um, so down here, I have a remain featured product. Uh, you can see I have it on sale for $44.95, 40% off. I believe my cost price was 12 to 16 bucks somewhere around there so my profit margins were pretty good on this usually products that um you know people will buy with emotion if you brand your store right hence focus on the micro branding guys um you can almost sell that product for like three to six x more okay so it does work to your advantage but you have to have all the supporting pieces um so over here are the colors are the variants you know it's changing uh, you know, with every different variant, um, I have this little uh, urgency kind of quantity um, checker right here that says only six left. Uh, buy now, black button, nice and bold. Uh, product details, um, social media, uh, trust badges, very simple, very plain. HD, nothing is blurry. Um, you can also see that 14 people are looking at this product. Um, by the way, this is the booster theme, guys. I almost always use booster themes. For one product stores, I it's, honestly it's a great theme uh, in terms of what I think. Um, so guys, booster theme is really the way to go, or it's one of a really really good theme if you guys want to use um, for your one product stores. We come down here um, now. You see that human perception, guys, is very important, especially from a male standpoint. Most of my buyers were male, so you can see um, you know that there's a girl holding a teddy bear right here. So yeah, there's a girl holding a teddy bear right here, um, and it says for your loved one, okay? Perfect for almost any occasion, Valentine's Day, birthdays, anniversary, weddings. So even if this product wasn't solely bought for Valentine's Day by someone, you know, it kind of makes them aware, like, oh, also it's good for birthdays, anniversaries, wedding gifts. You know, it's just kind of creating self-awareness. A lot of the time, the consumer won't realize until you kind of list it out for them, okay? So really, guys be in your guys' shoes or be in their shoes, I should say. Um, here I have another call to action. And the reason why is when I go back to the mobile, you'll actually see right here. Um, so again, this this layout, guys, looks way better on mobile. I also have a pop-up where I'm giving 10% off to people. Uh, again, collecting emails is very important, so you can later remarket them, use it for another store or whatnot as well. It's kind of a win-win situation, right? They're getting their 10% off, and then you're getting, uh, you know, your, uh, or sorry, you're getting their email in return. Um, and I also have a little Facebook app widget right here. So, if so in case someone wants to um, not email us or contact us through that form, they can always message us here. And again, it just builds that trust like there's someone else to answer my questions. Uh, but as you guys can see, just kind of going back to this over here, guys. Um, so if you're on mobile, let's say you're scrolling down and, you know, you're scrolling, you're sure scrolling and, you know, this is a direct call to action. So then you don't have to scroll back up here. You guys can, or someone, your potential customer can just literally click on get mine and it will direct them to the product page and they can continue with their purchase. Okay. You can see, I also have a sticky act to cart button right here too. It's not too distracting or anything like that. Um, you know, reviews on product pages, again, very important. Um, but yeah, so that is one call to action guys. You want to have multiple call to actions. Okay. Again, keep in mind, you want to kind of trickle people down your funnel. I'm using the home page as a funnel. Okay. We scroll down here, another call to action. The perfect keepsake works as a beautiful piece of decor in the home or office can serve as a pleasant memento to remember a special day. Okay, so if we come back here, this is how it looks on desktop, very even uh, color combinations and color schemes are all very even and congruent as well. Guys, congruency is the number one main thing on one product stores. You know, you want people to get that vibe and you want them to feel welcome, but you don't want things happening all over the place. So congruency again, guys, is very, very important. Okay, um, here I'm using more of human as I started talking about over here, um, it just makes such a big difference when people see someone else using or showcasing the product, especially something like this, right? It kind of makes people think like, oh, my significant other, my girlfriend, my wife, my sister, my mom could be holding this bear like this too, okay? So again, that's what it sparks in that consumer's end, um, basically. 
So again, uh, puts on a smile, lasts a lifetime, uh, cuddle or showcase. Again, these are all different call to actions. Notice I'm using different ones, not order now or shop now. You know, get mine, order now, um, get mine again, I want one, shop now. So you're switching up these different call to actions as well. And I'm also telling I'm also informing people, you know, I last a lifetime, uh, cuddle or showcase, puts on a smile. There's that emotional effect I'm um, catering to the consumer. So you kind of hitting them with all angles and you want them to kind of feel or you kind of want them to feel encapsulated within your store. Not in a bad way, but you want them to really think like, hey, I really need to buy this rose bear for my significant other. Okay. So again, um, this is what it, how it looks like on the mobile, just straight down. And guys, all these lead to um, you know the product page, as you guys can see. So you know, in case if someone doesn't want to continue their checkout here from here, or if they're not convinced, that's totally fine, guys. You know, they don't even have to scroll back up. They can just click here, and it will go again straight to the product page, as you guys saw. Over here, I have some other testimonials to, you know, feel or just build some clarity, build some confidence. Happy customers, what they have to say. Um, you know, I'm actually in terms I'm actually talking about their overall experience. You know, as you can read this, absolutely love my Lux Rose Bear. Got in time just for my V-Day uh, and cannot wait to give it to my grandmom. The flowers are such good quality. 10 out of 10, no doubt. The white Lux Rose Bear looks beautiful. Planning on giving it to my girlfriend on Valentine's Day. So excited to see your reaction. So there's different reactions, or sorry, there's different testimonials talking about different things. Um, I included men and female, uh, sorry, or men and women, I should say. Um, so again, guys, really pay attention to the testimonials here and see how I have them structured. They're not only talking about customer support, not only talking about how fast product got here. I see a lot of you guys make your reviews and testimonials so basic actually put in work behind them and think or believe or kind of, yeah, just basically think how the consumer will feel after they read one of these, okay? Here they're talking about how the flowers look so real, their scent is amazing, um, you know, my girl's gonna love this. Here talking a little bit about shipping time, good quality. So these are all the things that people care about, okay? So you don't wanna give your consumer or your potential customer a chance for them to kind of escape uh, you know, from your store. You want them to, you know, have, be encapsulated within your store. Over here, uh, get social with us, little Instagram. This is how it looks over here. I'm just showcasing some Instagram uh, feeds or pictures from my feed. Um, I will click, uh, I will show the Instagram just in a little bit because again, your social media, a lot of people overlooked, but that just really plays a very important part because you want that to be consistent and you want that to be congruent throughout, okay? So I will show you guys that in just a little bit. And then here, we have our last call to action. I want our Lux Rose Bear. I usually do um, stay away from using timers, but since it's like an early Valentine's Day sale, I am using a timer and you definitely want it less than a day at least. I suggest even only a few hours because you don't want it to say like three days and someone's like, oh, you know, I'll come back, I'll purchase later on. You know, you want people to think, no, this is the price in less than a day. This is not going to be the price anymore. So buy it now or buy it never. Okay. Um, again, I'm being a little bit aggressive, but this is what really, really works, guys. Um, and then down here, we have our trust badges. 100% satisfaction, secure payment, covers that end, returns accepted, um, and then global shipping. And you guys can see what I have underneath them. Guys, feel free to take this. Feel free to literally copy this if you want. And then down here, just restating our mission so it looks professional, social media, main mission, and customer care. I have FAQs, contact us, privacy policy, refund policy, shipping policy terms of service and a little search uh, icon right here in case someone does want to search. So again, these are all the things you should have on your customer care menu. I see a lot of people leaving this uh, just default as footer menu. Guys, that looks very unprofessional, okay? So customer care. Uh, again, newsletter if they want to sign up, a second chance for someone to give their email. Um, and then I have our payment trust badges here on the bottom right here. This is how it looks on uh, desktop. So guys, again, all these different call to actions you want to have, you don't want to give that chance for people to escape from your store, okay? Again, you want them to feel 
or be encapsulated and you want them to really believe that this is for them the moment they land on your page and they see that front banner or whichever landing page you, know, you guys are using. Um, again, even the title, how it says Lux Rose Bear, um, and notice the domain, it very correlates or it very directly correlates but again, this is what I mean by congruence, guys, okay? You want people to think like that you're the only brand that basically is selling this product at the most top-notch material and the most top-notch quality. In terms of description, if you want to go a little bit deep into it, it's very short, it's very simple because this product is pretty self-explanatory. So again, I'm using bold words to kind of make sure certain things stand out. Our Lux Rose Bears are the perfect gift, idea, and symbol of, of appreciation and timeless love. Notice how it says our, not the. Um, you know, we have put timeless hours into it, um, guaranteed to stay bloomed a lifetime, have your loved ones keep it and get a constant reminder of how special they are to you. And then I have specifications right here. Um, again, I was selling the 40 centimeter one. I think I said 20 centimeters. I apologize. It's 40 centimeters. The bigger version of the bear and um, again not sold in stores so guys you can only get it on Lux Rose Bear that's what you want to convey to people okay so as we go on when someone picks the color let's say red buy it now okay after that it goes to the checkout let's just keep one to you know make things simple um, again uh, I have a little bit of urgency right here this cart will expire minute and 22 seconds and counting down um, again some trust badges you should have Norton McAfee trusty and verify uh, verisign these actually came by default I just left them um, this too I just left them MasterCard Visa PayPal American Express all that fun stuff uh, if they want to pay by Google Pay or PayPal feel free go ahead um, again I have to proceed to checkouts to the mobile and see how it looks on there so when someone presses that they go to let's just keep it one or no uh, reset gray with red heart it looks very cool, guys I love the mobile layout into it proceed to checkout um, and then guys, these are big. These are pre-checkout upsells. You want these to increase and maintain your AOV, your average order of value. You want to squeeze as much out of your customer as much as possible with the inconsistencies of Facebook ads or any sort of paid marketing if you guys are using. And even if you guys are using Instagram influencers, why not, again, take advantage of what your customer is buying? More than likely, people will give this as a gift. So again, I have a gift right here guys so right when someone's buying this you want to make them feel like oh I really need this for this product okay so again Lux Rose Bear notice how I even titled it congruent and again consistency Lux Rose Bear transparent gift box and then here I have a ribbon in case they want to tie the bear up or put a ribbon in the bear or even put a ribbon on the box uh, premium bow ribbon again if you guys don't have a lot of margins on these type of upsell projects that's fine you don't want to be too stingy you want people to buy um i think my average aov was almost like 52 or 53 bucks so like almost eight out of ten people were buying the gift box at least okay so again pre-checkout upsells are very important um notice how i customize this don't forget these our premium gift box and ribbons just makes your gift better okay so again, let's go to continue. We don't want that. Let the cart page load. So after someone enters their email, I'm gonna do that just really, really quick, guys. So I just have to zoom in just a little bit to hide my address. But you see I have uh, two shipping methods, a free and short shipping, which is free. Who doesn't like free shipping? And then the priority secured shipping. Um, which is you know five ninety five, and again these are mentioned in the shipping information as well. So after that, you continue to payment and let them out here. Um, there we go. PayPal, uh, credit card. You obviously want to have both payment processors if you guys do have access to it. I know some of you may or may not. And yeah, guys, that's basically it. That's literally my whole funnel. But I am taking them from the home page to the checkout. 
So everything is pretty simple guys. A lot of people overthink into making more product stores, but all you have to do is really put yourself in that shoes of your ideal customer and you don't you have to aim for not having them leave your site once they're on it. Especially take advantage of products like these guys. These are solely bought in emotion, like I was saying before. Okay, so you want them to make that decision that I'm getting this no matter what for my significant other and all these different components. Notice like where I place everything is very important as well. There's no right or wrong one cookie cutter formula or solution, but everything really, really makes sense as they're scrolling through this. It's not too long, it's not too short, it looks legitimate, it looks professional, it's responsive. Um, and again, this is what really micro branding means, okay? And now I'd say I will show you the social media as well. I'm not gonna be showing you the Facebook page because it's very simple. Um, but Instagram is very important because especially when you're running ads on Instagram, guys, um, you know, you want to have an Instagram page that is at least active. Okay? Um, so again, my bio, New York City based because that's where we were founded, adorn your outer world. This is like our motto that we have on our homepage, if you guys remember. Premium made Lux Rose Bears, tags Lux Rose Bear to be featured. Use code VDAY14 uh, for 10% off. Now, since this was really quick, guys, I did, or I, I will mention or admit to that I, I should have more followers, but regardless, I I think I've done a really good job in terms of having different content. I'm not just having the rose, but I'm having different content in terms of my social media as well to make it really feel like a brand. I have a different video on social media as well in terms of how your social media and how your Instagram especially should be structured. Um, so you can definitely go check that video. It should be a few videos ago. But again, guys, this is really what I mean in treating the store like a long-term brand, even if it's some, something that you're going to be capitalizing short-term. First of all, you don't know. Like, for example, I'm going to reactivate this store and start running ads for it again when Mother's Day comes, right? And I already have the data for it. So the pixel is quite seasoned and matured already for it through Facebook ads or on Facebook ads, the Facebook's pixel, okay? So again, guys, this is just my Instagram. You know, I made it look very uh, very real. I made it look very professional. Um, you know, posted love-related pictures, uh, Valentine's Day pictures, rose-related pictures, and whatnot as well. So again, that's just my Instagram. It's very congruent, and it doesn't really throw people off. So as we go here, guys, these are just all the apps I really had on the store. Um, I use Aftership to basically, again, track orders. I know that track order um, tab wasn't working, uh, but I think there's a glitch or something like that since the store is not active anymore. Um, this is that little Facebook chat that you did see um, on the home screen right here. Let's see if it pops up right here. So again, guys, just to repeat, that's if someone doesn't want to contact you or um, through the page or doesn't doesn't want to send you an email, they can chat with you right here and that will basically directly go to your uh, your page's inbox in the back end where you can actually respond to people if they have any questions. So that's that. Luke's is for reviews. Oberlo is, um, you know, for what I used, which is AliExpress. My manufacturer on AliExpress actually has a U.S. based, um, a U.S. based supplier. Uh, sorry, not manufacturer. My supplier on AliExpress has a U.S. based uh, fulfillment center and supplier. So I got pretty lucky uh, with eight to twelve day shipping times. Um, this is for bold upsells, for product upsells. Basically, what you guys saw the ribbon in the gift box. Um, I honestly love bold upsell or product upsell. It's the same app. And then I was just tapping into Snapchat ads, which is a little bit of a secret, which is actually what I'm working on right now, learning Snapchat ads, okay? So that's why that app is over there, just to be super transparent with you guys. So yeah, guys, that is a literally a perfect, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna say perfect, because again, I'm not, I'm not perfect, the store wasn't perfect, maybe you guys will agree or disagree. Uh, but this is what has been really worked for me. And guys, like one product stores have really so much potential because you can encompass that micro branding feel to it. Um, so guys, again, take note, use this as a benchmark in terms of creating one product stores. Um, you know, again, I capitalized on this super, super quick because I saw Valentine's Day coming. 
I saw that this product was doing well last Valentine's Day, which I didn't really sell, but I knew it was going to be a winner again, right? Products like these guys, they come in seasonal waves. So that's what I was talking about before. Market logic and market intuition is very important. Being proactive of all these different trends so you get ahead of that curve. You get ahead of that demand and create awareness um, to the market before all of these other dropshippers and marketers do so. So, you know, again, I started, um, you know, building out the store and everything. I did it. I did everything in a few days. Uh, I think the first or second week of December, and I really got my foot in the door and took advantage of it. So yeah, guys, if you have literally any questions about this store or one product stores in general, um, one product stores is definitely something I'm going to be start doing more and more in 2020. Um, whether they be short term or long term doesn't really matter. They have massive potential if you micro brand them the proper way. And if you really uh, you know, keep in mind of all the components, not only in the store, but, you know, the apps, the social media, um, you know, no doubt the store being the most important, but everything else, just make sure it's congruent. Congruency is the number one thing I see people missing out. You know, they have so many missing leaks on their stores and their social media that it just gives people that alert that this is a scammy looking site or it's just not a store that I want to buy from so you know don't let people even think that okay keep them alert and you know really give that vibe to people when they're on your store so again like I was saying if you have any questions any comments any thoughts leave them in the comments below if I can really help you in any way as possible you know that'd be great I love helping other people um, you know, speaking of that, if you guys have already not joined my free Facebook group, Ecom Masterminds, definitely do so. I will leave a link to that in the description uh, with all my other social media channels as well. Instagram, TikTok, follow me on all of them. Stay updated with me. And please, guys, like this video again. I want to make sure this reaches as many people as possible to really give that value. Now, I know a lot of people don't show their stores, but again, I believe in transparency. I believe in clarity. So, guys. Here's my store, nothing to hide. Use that as a benchmark. You can take ideas, really do whatever you want from it. And um, yeah, guys, subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notification bells, and I will see you guys soon.